Thank Agent. Reminder. 100 sterilized credits qualifies non-mechanical reproduction simulation. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here.
Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or have been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the city we're so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call. City 17, my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen you the only ones or on been that train? chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17. Overwatch that stopped I our train in the woods to and took my husband my for questioning. Here they said he'd be on the next train. So thoughtfully provided I'm not by sure when that was. Did they're, they're being I've nice though, to call letting me wait City for 17 him? My home. And so. Whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are... Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. They arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been working up the nerve to go on to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to Dr. Breen again? My administration I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. In so I wouldn't say that too loud. This is base of operations. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown... Where are you taking me? To City 17. It's safe in here. Chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban This centers. must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Yeah, 
About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking of the provision of our genetic inheritance. It also requires planning and more thought than well in direct opposition to our neural reset. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we were doorsteps, got our first meals on the open fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a blood.
than an opportunity. for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day we have mastered ourselves. The day we can prove we know no more. town, it. aren't you? And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. The line starts at the end. Thank you for writing, concerned. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. All its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breathe again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unplanned. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is... We can't be seen talking to each other. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us, kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks, cooked our first meals in a little fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cabins of walls. But inseparable from instinct is its superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it would the wise. Blood keep it to yourself. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species.
always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. still had a door. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Head for the roof! Hey, There's no time to lose! Yeah. Run for your life! Yeah. Civil yeah. protection! Get in here, quick! Keep moving! Head for the roof!
Dr. Freeman, I presume. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. And a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are, Dar. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't work. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. Hey, he's coming with me. That's right, Barney. This is a red letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. 
Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> Well, Gordon, go ahead. Rip into your suit now. Get your suit on, Gordon. If Dr. Kleiner says you should wear that thing, you should wear it. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Oh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. Massless field flux with self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold. No Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon. Would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. 
Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Once you're safely ensconced in the transmitter, we can begin. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your head the freaking head hopper! Rar, let me knock out! There he is! It's the bar with his head about that thing! He's coming through, Dad. What's going on, Judy? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Lord, stay put! We'll get you out of here. Something is throwing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, Pete, he's back. I'm getting him out of there. But certain it was Gordon Freeman. Hey, Gordon! Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here.
Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by- This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same history. Unidentified person of interest. Better get the road, Jack. Get the road, Jack. Citizen, 
Friend, that station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive.
Protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhats. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! Thanks.
Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, then you really gotta go. Thanks, but I'll be okay. Got some work to finish up here. Thanks, but I'll be okay. Got some work to finish up here. Thank <laughs> you.